Hi everybody. So it's a curious thing that in the domestic situation we use something like 55% of our energy just keeping warm in winter and cool in the summer. That's an awful lot of energy and it would be very cool if we could do something about that. And there are three researchers from the University of California who've done something that to be honest is quite astounding. And to do it they only use three things. Super black, super white and this little bit of washing machine. This is a wax motor, and you find them in things like dishwashers and washing machines operating the soap dispenser or the door lock. Now they're not actually a motor, they're a linear actuator. And they're incredibly simple devices, they're basically a copper cup filled with wax attached to a plunger. When the wax melts it expands anything between 5 and 20% depending on the type of wax. And the temperature at which it melts and expands also depends on the type of wax. When it melts and expands it pushes on the rod and that will actuate something like a door or a catch. It's not incredibly quick but it is incredibly strong for the size of it, with something this small being capable of pushing against several kilograms. The beauty of them is they don't need any components, as long as they've got a heat source and that can be the ambient temperature, hot water or an electronic heater they will melt and push. And in wet caustic environments like a dishwasher or washing machine, they're ideal where an ordinary solenoid would just rot away. This is Vantablack. It's supposed to be the world's blackest black and absorbs 99.965% of all light. That's ultraviolet, visible light and infrared. It's said to be the nearest thing we can get to looking at a black hole. If you paint something with Vantablack and light on top of a Vantablack flat surface, you can't see the thing that's been painted, you can't make it out until you rotate it round. Of course there are competing blacks that people have invented that say the same things, but it is incredibly impressive stuff. And the thing about black is the reason it's black is it absorbs light, but all that energy doesn't go anywhere. Once it absorbs that light it gets hot and that heat can be used to do things like heat up water. And of course in the winter, heat up your house. Vanta black is an exceptional material, a super black, and it does a really good job, but any black will do this. Of course on the opposite side of the coin to the blackest black is the world's whitest white, and Purdue University came out with this radiative cooling paint about three years ago that reflects the heat away and back into space. Since Purdue did this, Nighthawk in Light has replicated this with his own recipe, as has tech ingredients, as has myself. So a radiative white paint that, that throws the heat off in the summer is easily accessible and readily available. So taking those three simple but genius ideas, the team from Santa Barbara created a roofing tile that switches between its hot and cold state depending on the temperature. And they released this paper of January of this year detailing everything that they'd done. And this is what they basically did. They used the wax motor to operate a pivot and linkage, and the linkage was a louvre. One side they painted with a black and the other side they painted with a white that would open and close depending on whether it's night or day or hot or cold. And the results they got were indeed dramatic. What they claim is up to two and a half times less energy being used for heating and cooling when compared with other static devices. The guys from the university created a tile four inches by four inches which is 100 mil by 100 mil and the plan is to create roof tiles of these things. Now I'm unsure of how long such a thing will last but given it's a wax motor you're talking about a lifespan in the region of decades which is pretty cool because it's going on a roof. You don't want to be changing that every couple of years. Now it's exactly the kind of engineering that I love. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's robust, it's practical. It truly is a work of genius. So I thought I would share that with you. Now when I look at that I don't see a device that is particularly difficult should anybody choose to experiment with this themselves. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.